See, uh, when I talk about uh, the long term vision, I think uh, we are well poised towards uh, expanding in renewable energy, be it solar, solar with battery, be it waste to energy or uh, solar manufacturing. So I think all these business units are in a way uh, central to our strategy and uh, whatever investments we've gotten or whatever investments we will be getting in future will be towards uh, uh, supporting our growth in the entire renewable space. See, I think solar and biomass are very, very different sectors and we intend to explore both the sectors simultaneously because we have that kind of manpower, that kind of, uh, those kind of resources. Uh, so I don't see a challenge where we can only focus on one. Uh, I think a multi-focus in today's times is a must. Uh, uh, on uh, a new focus that has come into light is solar manufacturing. Uh, we have done module manufacturing. We are going back in the value chain with cell manufacturing and probably going forward as and when the opportunities come in, we will be uh, uh, you know, uh, looking into further opportunities in the manufacturing sector. So technologically, I think we've grown as an organization. There is a new learning with every, uh, with every new project that we implement. Uh, also on the fuel procurement side, even though we, we procure about 2 million tons of paddies for every year, still there's a new learning with respect to how to store the paddy, uh, you know, how to procure the paddy in a more efficient manner, in a more cost effective manner so that the rates make more sense to us. Um, so I think these are the two major areas. And uh, another area that has just come into light for us is uh, how to skill the people, especially in the biomass sector. Uh, so we've been working with certain uh, uh, certain technology providers of our, ours, uh, maybe some of the government institutes, in order to skill the people in a better way to produce to um, uh, to run the plants more efficiently. Uh, because you know, in a way, these plants make sense only when there is 90% plus PLF achieved. I think uh, on the regulatory side, personally, uh, more and more push has to come in, similar to what happened with the solar sector back in 2015. Uh, I believe that should help uh, companies like us to give more, uh, to put more focus on uh, implementing more projects in a faster manner. On the financial side, uh, I believe uh, the financial institutions are quite impressed with our growth. So I don't see a challenge when it comes to financing. It's only the regulatory side where uh, uh, now the governments are realizing, uh, you know, the benefits of these projects, uh, but more push has to just come in.